Hello everyone and very warm welcome to the channel. I am quite excited to share with you this first ever open multimodal native mixture of expert model which is called as ARIA. We are going to install this model locally and then we will test it out on various images. Before I do that, it is quite important to understand what exactly is mixture of expert and how exactly this ARIA model is different from the rest of the lot. A mixture of expert model is a type of model that combines the strength of multiple specialized models known as experts to achieve better performance and efficiency. In a traditional model, all parameters are active and updated during the training, which can lead to redundancy and inefficiency. But in contrast, mixture of expert model divide the workload among a pool of experts, each specializing in a specific task or subset of the data. Only a subset of experts is activated for each input, allowing the model to dynamically allocate computational resources and adapt to varying input complexities. Now, coming to this ARIA model, which you can also get from Hugging Face from this model card, and I will drop the link in video description. ARIA is a mixture of expert model with 3.9 billion activated parameters per token, which means that ARIA employs this mixture of expert architecture and the 3.9 activated parameter per token means that for each input token, approximately 3.9 billion parameters are activated engaged from the larger pool of experts. This efficient activation mechanism enables ARIA to process visual inputs of varying sizes and aspect ratios of images effectively. ARIA's ability to efficiently encode visual input of variable sizes and aspect ratios highlights its flexibility and scalability. If you go through its website and have a quick look, you would see a lot of benchmarking information and details. So in short, this multimodal native uh, multimodal model has native understanding on wide range of language and multimodal tasks. If you look at this diagram, you will see that not only it is quite good at text LLM and vision LLM plus code LLM, which is quite amazing. So because it has a mixture of experts on all of these domains. It is quite lightweight and fast. Lightweight doesn't mean that you can run it on commodity hardware. It is still a big model. You would need at least 80 GB of VRAM and I will shortly show you. It has quite a long context window of around 64,000 tokens captioning a 256 frame video in 10 seconds. There are a lot of other details which you can check it out as, um, but for me, the, you know, the unique thing about it is that it can process text, images, video and code all at once without needing separate setups for each type, which demonstrates the advantages of a true multimodal native model in open source, which is quite good. I'm still not sure about its licensing, so but I will drop the link to it in video description. Um, but I believe the license is Apache 2, but check it out and let me know if that is correct. And if that is, then I think we are in for a treat. So that's it. Let's go and try to get it installed. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. I will drop the link to their website plus a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. So do check them out. Also, they are running a hackathon this October where I will be one of the judges. So if you want to win free credits in GPU, you can simply submit your LLM generated text images or multimodal uh, artifact to them and you might win that hundred dollars in free gpu credit so do check them out so let me take you to my terminal where i am running this open 222.04 and as i mentioned i have one gpu card nvidia h100 with 80 gb of vram courtesy mass compute and it won't run anything less than that so and I'm installing the full model in floating point 16. This is half season, but still a full model, no quantization. So first up, I'm creating a virtual environment with the help of Conda. If you don't know what Conda is, please search my channel. I already have done a video on it. Next up, let's install the GCC compiler and CUDA in my Conda environment. That shouldn't take too long. So let's wait for it to finish installing here.
and that is installed next up we need to install all of these prerequisites and that takes around 10 minutes yes you have heard it right and that is present on their uh, model card which you can uh, check it out so let's wait for 10 minutes and then we will proceed further all the prerequisites are done and now let's launch our Jupyter notebook so that we could download install and then play with the model in the browser environment so let's wait for it to get launched and the notebook is launched let's import the libraries and download the model so you see that if we are just downloading this aria model from hugging face so let me download it and the model has started downloading so if you go down here you will see that now it is downloading the shards of the model there are 12 shards so you can imagine that it is the size is just over 50 gig so make sure that you have that much space on your system plus as i mentioned earlier you would need to have 80 gb of vram on your system in order to run this model so let's wait for it to get downloaded and while it downloads that model let me also introduce you to the sponsors of this video which are agent ql agent ql is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly easily and at scale you can use the python sdk to run your queries in production using playwright and use the browser-based debugger for optimizing query in real time on any web page it is quite resilient it is reusable the same query works across multiple similar pages plus it structures output according to the shape of your own query i'm going to also put the link into the video description so do check them out let's go back and see what is happening it is still downloading so let's wait for it to get finished and the model is downloaded here let me scroll down and show you so you see all the 12 shards have been downloaded and they are now present on my gpu okay so now let's do the inference with it for that i'm just using this code where we are just specifying this image online this is the image which i have just gotten from their page and then you see that we are just putting in a prompt template then we are applying that prompt template and then we are putting this pixel values here to the tensor values and here we are moving everything to our CUDA device which is a GPU device and then with the help of some of the parameters we are doing the inference and then printing the result back so let me run it and while it runs also let me show you the consumption of vram on my GPU this is a high level rough estimate so it is just consuming close to 50 gig of vram as you can see here okay so i'm just going to close it let's see what is happening here and there you go it says that the image shows a black and white cat with striking green eyes the cat is sitting on a surface likely a cardboard box let's check it out again it's a bamboo i guess it's not a cardboard it's a bam maybe it's a cardboard i'm not sure maybe anyway so the background is a solid green which makes a cat's fur stand out the cat has a calm and curious expression looking directly at the camera which is quite good and next up i'm testing it out with few of the local images which i have on my disk so you see i gave it this image where there is a australian outback and it is saying the image depicts a serene sunset seen in a wildlife setting the central focus is a large radiant sun setting behind a lone acacia tree very correct that's a typical australian acacia tree and casting an orange and red glow across the sky and landscape still hooted in the foreground are three kangaroos seemingly in motion adding a dynamic element to the scene above a flock of birds is seen flying in formation enhancing the scene's sense of tranquility the overall composition evokes a feeling of peace and beauty of nature very well done okay let's try out ocr now so now i am running this model with this text which is um, composed of some english some alphanumeric characters and some other languages so let's see it says the image contains a sentence in english that describes a fox jumping at it, followed by its translation of sentence into different languages very nice so if i just scroll down a bit there you go let me display it properly there you go so it is just so after quick brown fox it is just going to the dollar sign emails are there it has even given us the rapido omelouts on top of it so it has perfect i think this is really good not only it has done that character recognition but also it has 
given us some sort of sense what is happening in this image. Really awesome stuff. Next up, I have given it this image which says write a Python code to add two numbers, write full code with comments. So I'm expecting that the model is going to read this and then also write a code. And th there you go, it has come back. Let's check it out. So let me move this image a bit. It says the image displays a prompt to write a Python code for adding two numbers. Here is a sample Python code that accomplished this task with comments. Amazing, amazing stuff. And you see, not only it has written the full code, but also it has shown us some example as how to run it and how to call that function. So you see, this is what I was talking about multimodal and mixture of expert. It can, uh, it has vision, it can read the images, it can do the coding. How good is that? And so far, if you remember the first uh, image which, which we showed it around that tranquil scene, it was able to write a very good language. But let's try it out on few of the other language sort of tasks by showing it few of the images. Okay, so in the next one, I have given it this image and I'm asking the model that where is this location in the image, identify the location and then give me its history. So this is quite a hard one because most of the models fail it because it is not that well-known location, unfortunately. Unfortunately, because this is such a treasure, this is one of the ruins of Gandhara civilization, one of the oldest civilization, Buddhist civilization. And this is a present day Pakistan. There is a small town called as Texela, which is just an hour away from the capital Islamabad in Pakistan. So this is one of the stupas in Texla. So let's see if it is able to identify it. And then we'll see. I think so far only one model has managed to identify it correctly. Let's go down to see. There you go. It says uh, the image shows the archaeolo archaeological site of Sachin Bajo located in Kasma Valley, Peru. So that is not correct. So you see, this one has failed it. So maybe I'll give it a hint. I'll just say hint. Gandhara civilization. Let's run it again. So you see, this is one another thing that these models are still not that intelligent, which is a good thing, by the way. <clears throat> but so you need to make sure that you are uh, guiding them properly. And there you go. We were, as we were talking, it is telling us that this location is an image in the archaeological site of Texla, Pakistan. Texla is an ancient city in the northwestern Indian subcontinent, which was an important cultural and all that stuff. And then it is telling us about the history. How good is that? Amazing stuff. Okay, so let's try out a few more prompts. Now in the next one I have given is this image and I am asking it which lane should I take here in this image. So let's scroll down to see what it is what it says. It says you should take the right lane labeled autos bus and RB. That's correct. Because the left two lanes are marked lane close, so you should not take those. Good stuff. Really good. Okay, let's now try to tease the model a bit. So I'm going to show you, show it this image. This is just a YouTube thumbnail of my another video where I was just trying out these uh, enemy images. So I'm asking the model, there are two girls in this image, which girl should I propose? So when I run it, this is what model says. It says I'm unable to assist with decisions regarding personal relationships. Okay. Okay, no problem. Let's try to ask it in a different way but let's see so i'm asking it there are two girls in the image which girl is more beautiful so let's scroll down so the model says both girls are quite attractive each having unique features that could be considered beautiful in different ways very diplomatic the girl in the right image has a more vibrant background adding to the overall aesthetic and then so model likes the right hand side one okay hmm and however, so however, beauty is subjective and it's not appropriate to definitely uh, state which girl is more beautiful. Okay. Now in the next one, I have just given it another OCR question to see if it is able to identify some more languages. So I'm asking it which languages are present in this text in the image. So let's see what model says here. So it says, the text in the image is in English and Hindi. Each English phrase is followed by its corresponding Hindi translation. The bilingual comparison makes it easy to learn how to say different common phrases in Hindi, such as about, translated as this. Very nice. So it has even 
translated it good stuff next up let's see if it can check the time in the clock so i have given us this image of clock and then i'm asking it what is the time on the clock and there you go the, it says the time on the clock is 233 so let's check it again what do you think is it 233 i don't think so so it seems that it has really bungled it up let's give it one more clock question and here is another one where i think it has again got it wrong so it can't read the time on the clock and finally let's give it this blurry image and ask the image what is happening in this image the model is saying the image depicts a blurred scene of a people walking in what appears to be an urban environment possibly during a rainy evening let's check it out again cool you see there are some dots so maybe and there's a wet uh, road it says contributing to a dreamy ethereal atmosphere several individuals are seen from behind walking in various directions that is correct some are wearing coats yep and one person carrying a bag let's check it out again there you go there is a bag very nice and the ground is wet reflecting light which enhances the sense of image being taken after rain the overall mood is somewhat melancholic and quiet capturing a fleeting everyday moment in the city so look at the pros very masterful so that's it guys very impressed by the model size is big but i think totally has thrown it out of the park i will drop the link to it in video description play around with it let me know what do you think if you like the content please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel if you're already subscribed please promise me that you are going to share it on social media with your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching